Jaltol is a plugin developed to run on the free and open source QGIS desktop software. Free and open source were key design choices made in the development of this tool. Besides free and open source, simplicity was another design principle that guided the plugin's development. Thus, Jaltol does not require the user to have any prior knowledge of native QGIS functionality. All steps involved in generating a water budget can be completed from within the plugin itself. To use Jalto, you will need QGIS 3.8 or higher. The ideal version to use the plugin with is the current long-term release, which is 3.16. The recommended way to install the long-term release is using the OSGO installer that you see here. Once you have installed QGIS and opened the software, you will have a user interface which resembles this. At the top here is the menu bar. Below that are multiple toolbars. On the left, you will see the layers panel where each layer of the water budget datasets will load. The browser panel, also on the left, allows you access to any local files that you may have. Using the plugins menu, you can access and install Jaltol by visiting and clicking on Manage and Install Plugins. Do note that the installation of the Google Earth Engine plugin and sign up for the same must be completed before installation of Jaltol. Detailed instructions for the same can be found at the links available here. Once you have installed Jaltol, you can navigate to the plugins menu at the top or the plugins toolbar and open the Jaltol dock window by clicking on the plugins logo. The dock window shows you four separate tabs. The first gives you information about the tool itself. The second is the area of interest tab. The third is the water balance tab and the fourth is a tab for base layer selection. In addition to installation of the plugin, you can choose to download village and watershed boundary files that can be used to complete the sample exercises from the Jalpur resources shared folder that can be found here. You can now head back to the area of interest tab and add the same village shape file that you just downloaded as a layer in QGIS given the selection box here. The plugin also offers the option of selecting watershed boundary files or custom boundary files of your choice. Once you have loaded the village shape file, this also populates the cascade selection drop down boxes that allows you to choose the state, district, block and village for which you wish to generate the water budget. Once you have selected a village using the drop down boxes, the tool automatically zooms in to the same selected village. At this point, you may want to add some context to ensure that the village boundary is what you expect. You can do this by selecting a land use land cover base layer using the fourth tab. This land use land cover layer shows irrigated agriculture in green, dry land agriculture in brown, and fallow land in grey. The legend for the same layer can be viewed in the Jalto training manual. In addition to using a land use land cover layer, you can also select a satellite base map from the native QGIS interface using XYZ tiles. Let's now go ahead and calculate a water balance for the same village we have zoomed into. We can do this simply by heading over to the water balance tab, selecting a year, and then clicking save to desktop. 
In a few seconds, the image generated will be saved to your desktop and you will see a pop-up message that appears at the top of your window. Here we can see the calculated water balance for the selected village for the selected year 2015-16. This village received 715 millimeters in the form of rainfall, whereas it returned 880 millimeters to the atmosphere in the form of evapotranspiration. Since the figure for evapotranspiration is greater than the precipitation received, this is what is known as a water deficit village. The deficit in this case is made up by a change in the soil moisture stock and the groundwater stock by 59 millimeters and 13 millimeters respectively, whereas the surface water stock remained the same. Runoff too, in this case, was negligible. In addition to computing the water balance, Jaltol also allows you to independently add a few data layers to preview the data that you are working with. We can now try doing this using the water balance tab. When you click add, wait a few seconds before you can preview the layer that loads. Now simply click on identify and then click anywhere within the village boundary that you selected earlier. The Identify Results panel on the right shows you the value for rainfall for the same selected village for which we previously generated a water budget. In this case, 715. We hope that this tutorial video was useful to you. If you do have further questions or feedback, feel free to reach out to us at chaltol at a3.org.